hybrid threat, for example, previous parliament of Serbia, 250 MPs, 99 of them in the friendship group, Serbia-Russia Federation. You know, we have in parliament's friendship groups, Kosovo, UK, a dozen of MPs max, but not 40% of parliament in a friendship group. Uh, direct flights, daily Belgrade, Moscow, a lot of businesses being open, and uh, Sputnik regional base for the Balkans is in Belgrade. 100 miles from capital town of Kosovo, Pristina, is the so-called Serb-Russian humanitarian center. Uh, with dozens of spies and agents who train people for emergency situations. Over 3,000 people went into training in that center in uh, a bit more than a decade. So who are these 3,000 people who went into that training? Then hybrid warfare is uh, very much present in academia, in university. Uh, Russian ambassador to Belgrade invites to dinner parties students of faculty of law, faculty of international relations, political science, uh, sociology, and so on and so forth. So EU pours a lot of money, and uh, in the evening they get the Russian fairy tale, how world looks like and will be. So uh, this is the problem, because European Union unfortunately believes that once they have relieved funds, the money will speak for itself. It's not like that. You can give a lot of money, and if you ask now, if you do a poll in Serbia, they will tell you that they are getting more financial support from Russia than from EU, which is absolutely false. 